It's a good place to live. Good people, lots of space. Now all the towns in southern Wyoming are laid out in space because of the railroad came through. It was how far they could go before having to refuel and rewater. And Laramie was a major stopping point. We arrived in Laramie tonight, just past the Welcome to Laramie sign, population 26,687. The first thing to greet us was Walmart. You could have been on any main drag in America, but as we entered the town, past the railroad tracks, the buildings still look like turn of the century Western style buildings. Oh, and as we passed the hotel, on the sign were amenities like cable TV and swimming pool are usually touted. The sign read, hate is not a Laramie value. My secret hope was that they were from somewhere else. That then of course you can create that distance. We don't grow children like that here. Well, it's pretty clear that we do grow children like that here. Well, the news reports started rolling in on Thursday, but no names were mentioned. The brutality of the crime was not mentioned. All that was mentioned was that there was a man, Laramie man, found beaten out on the prairie, basically. Later that day, they mentioned his name, and it was like, that, that can't. That can't be the Matthew Shepard I know. That, that can't be my student. That's, that's not this person who I've been meeting with. So I get a phone call on October 2nd about uh, 10 after 7. It was Matthew Shepard. And he said, can you pick me up at the corner of 3rd and Grand? So I pull up to the corner to see, you know, Matthew Shepard. And it's just a little guy. I bet you 5'2", soaking wet, maybe 9 to 7 pounds tops. They say he was 115, but I don't buy it. And the newspapers, they said he was 5'5", five, five, but this man, he was really only 5'2", maybe a 5'1". I keep seeing the picture of him in my head when I found him, and it's not pleasant whatsoever. I don't want it to be there. I want to, like, get it out! That's the biggest thing for me, is seeing that picture in my head. It's unbelievable that I was the one who happened to find him. And the big question for me is, like, with my religion, why would God want me to be the one to find him? I didn't, for the longest time, let myself become personally invested in the Matthew Shepard thing. It didn't seem real, it just seemed way blown out of proportion. Matthew Shepard was just a name instead of an individual. I don't know, it's weird. It's just so weird, man. I just feel bad, just for what I said, for the person I used to be. That's why I want to hear those interviews from last year when I said all that stuff about homosexuals. How did I let that stuff make me think that you were different than me? Laramie, Wyoming, often called the Gem City of the Plains, is now the eye of the storm. The cowboy state has its rednecks and yahoos for sure, but there are no more bigots per capita in Wyoming than there are in New York, Florida, or California. The difference is that in Wyoming, there are fewer places to blend in if you're anything other than prairie stock. 